Hi Capricorns, it is the Sun Sage and thank you guys so much for tuning in to your love connection update. This is where I am taking a look at what's going on in your love life at this time to see what the energies are between you and someone. So Capricorns, uh, let's see. Capricorn placements, this may also resonate for cross watchers. Let's see what's going on in your love connection at this time. All right, what do we have for Capricorns? All right, so a king of swords. That could be you guys um, as well, or a, a Aquarius, also Libra, Gemini, the fool. You could be dealing with an air sign. The star, very strongly. Okay, Aquarius here. Nine of wands. What's going on for Capricorns? judgment <laughs> i feel like somebody is um eight of swords lots of air okay i feel like yeah i was about to say i feel like somebody is taking a leap of faith towards you but they're so anxious about it eight of pen i'm sorry ace of pentacles here i feel like there's an offer okay i feel like you are receiving a blessing here you're receiving a new beginning i feel like this may be a reading more about the person you're dealing with not just because the King of Swords is here, because that could be your energy too. Because you definitely come across in this reading as having boundaries and being very strong in your conviction, as somebody really liking that. Um, but I do feel like there's um, somebody like who wants to take a leap of faith towards you. They're just being really logical right now, which I don't feel bothers you. I think there's something though about... This soulmate, something, somebody's accepting that this is a soulmate connection, right? And that there's a new beginning on the horizon. And I do feel like there's something about them acknowledging that feels a little bit like, oh my God, what am I getting myself into? I know this is a soulmate connection, but this is like long term, <laughs> you know, type thing. So somebody's getting serious. And for some of you, it could even feel like the person that's, that's getting serious could be getting cold feet, but it feels a lot more like, they're just realizing the magnitude of this connection. So the King of Swords, someone's taking a logical approach. They're, they are taking a leap of faith, but they're doing it in a very smart and logical way. What's the King of Swords about? Okay, yeah, the Emperor. This person is somebody who's like very good at making decisions, okay? You're dealing with somebody or you are this person who makes very, very good decisions, executive decisions for yourself. And this is about love. There's the Ace of Cups. So somebody is realizing that I know that um, this is about, you know, my love life. This is real. You know, I'm going to make the most important decision for myself. So somebody's taking control of their life here when it comes to you, Capricorn. And it does feel like they're making a decision to, you know, recognize this relationship up, six of wands the knight of wands it could just feel like a lot of energy is is headed your way from this person there is a counterpart a divine counterpart feeling like they are giving you a lot of recognition for the excitement you bring into their life um, this could even be some type of announcement this person could have been like pondering this for a while you know how do i tell capricorn this how do i make this known how do i put this out there it could feel like they're withheld right now they're not you know uh saying all of these things but this person has a lot of passion they're just very very smart about how they distribute it and i feel like you have a person who's very excited about you, who has a lot they want to tell you, a lot they want to share with you. Um, this feels definitely like some sort of like major announcement somebody's making, um, complimenting you, giving you your flowers, making you feel really good um, about moving forward with them. So this could even be the energy of, of someone who's planning something. The fool. Let's see why the fool is here. They're going to do something very risky, <laughs> I think. Eight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. They're stressed out about this. They could be, um, I was about to say they could be working with other people, but I think it's working with other people that stresses them out. So the Eight of Swords, I, I feel like they could have help. But I'm just picking up, they don't. Yeah, they're doing their own thing. 
this is someone who's actually realizing they have some baggage. Okay. Um, that's a part of why they're moving kind of smart right now. This is somebody who is taking a leap of faith. They, they, they are, they are saying to you, look, I have some type of, um, baggage. There's some type of like work situation they're stuck in or some situation where there's a lot of responsibility, but there's, that's the risky thing. <laughs> they're going to take this leap of faith knowing they have some type of obstacles. Okay. Some type of, um, contract or something they're in the star. They have faith that it'll work with you though. What's the star? Page of Cups, the Hermit. Yeah. This is somebody who feels like they want to um, offer you something that's very sacred to them, their feelings, maybe even a gift here. This person has a lot of faith in this connection. They're getting a lot of intuitive and inner guidance when it comes to your relationship. They're very clear about it. Queen of Swords. I feel like you got some boundaries. They like that because they're, they're showing up as the same way. They know what they want. You know what you want. Um, they definitely want to talk. Some of you, this is someone who could want some forgiveness from you. Maybe, um, I'm getting for their attitude or their distance specifically. Okay. Um, but the nine of wands, um, in your love connection, it does feel like, you know, you got some boundaries and I do feel like this person respects that the queen of wands here. There's a lot of passion, a lot of like sexiness between you and this person. You're both very attractive. Okay. So yeah, I was just about to say, <laughs> so the eight of cups and the nine of wands, this is like you're super protective of each other. Somebody doesn't want you to get away. Look at how this looks. Super protective. Somebody is like not wanting you to get away. They may be apologizing for their behavior if it felt like they were separating from you or distancing themselves from you. Um, if they feel like you're you're becoming emotionally too aloof yourself, this person is gonna, you know, show up and fight for you. I also feel like, you know, that was always the plan. It's just that they're acknowledging they got some type of situation here, but this person is fighting for this uh to not be over, is what I'm getting. Um, they view you as very beautiful, very sexy, very strong and powerful. They could be afraid to face you. That that also feels like this judgment, eight of swords. They could be afraid to face you for sure. But they're like, I got an offer. <laughs> and there's the sun. It's going to make you very happy. So they they could be absolutely afraid to face you. Um, judgment. Uh, let's see. The Hierophant. They're committing. They're conforming to this soulmate connection. They're not running from it. They're committing to it. I'm telling you, this person is going to let you know they got a lot going on. They got several other commitments that feel work related. I do feel like the ultimate plan is to leave those behind. The Queen of Cups here, for some of you, it's a person who feels like they're attached to um, or a person that's attached to them. But I do feel like this person is just letting you know I'm committing I just have, because they have feelings that they haven't been sure about, but they're becoming more and more sure of their feelings for you. I also feel like uh, for those of you where there's like a third party, somebody is like trying to be juggled. <laughs> Not that your person is juggling them. It's kind of like they won't go away is what I'm getting. So they've had mixed feelings about coming to you knowing that this person is around. Okay. Five of cups here. They could be very sorry for how things were done in a situation because they're like, now this person won't go away. Yeah, they feel stuck. They feel stuck in something that they're still taking a leap of faith towards you, eight of swords, but they feel stuck. Somebody's person could be stuck in a marriage, death. They made a decision. Okay, so there's an ending. And I feel like the ending, right, it frees them up to make this offer towards you. <clears throat> But again, the, some type of decision they made in that ending, 
right? Whether it's breaking up with somebody, leaving a work situation, the hangman, there's still some type of obligation they have to surrender to in that situation. You just got to accept this, or I just got to, you know, I'm asking you to see our relationship from a different perspective. It's some type of explanation coming in (laughs) from this person. It's like, they're making an offer to you, Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Everybody's here. Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like this person though. They're also like, yeah, I'm getting, um, there's some type of explanation about why they were moving so slow. They, yeah, let me just see what the lovers is here. Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is coming your way. And some type of celebration. This person could be planning some type of celebration for you, some type of thing that's a big deal here. But I do feel like they feel very connected to you and they want union with you, even knowing they have like some baggage here. Okay. So Capricorns, that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, let me know what you think. And if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out thesunsage.com.